You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. What are we going to do to offer actual choice to these people who work for the state of Illinois their entire lives? And by the way, the deal was free. Top officials from the Illinois Department of Central Management Services, or CMS, and Aetna Insurance Company were forced to answer to state lawmakers this morning. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. Jennifer is off tonight. Retirees have been living in fear over the loss of life-saving medical care in the new year. Our Target 3 investigative reporter sat in on the two-hour hearing. Renee Cooper is now live for us at the state capitol. And Renee, the big question today was, are retirees entitled options when it comes to their health benefits? Yeah, Jessica and today's CMS solidified that they will they have no intention of offering any options beyond Aetna before the new year. The problem is one plan doesn't fit all. And our reporting has led to something like a game of whack-a-mole, fixing coverage gaps as they pop up on one plan that not only is meant to suit retirees in different types of areas across the state, but also retirees living in other states. Meanwhile, retirees now have just two weeks to decide whether they're gonna enroll. The answer is yes, the PPO is the option. Representative C.D. Davidsmeyer forcing the answer from CMS officials. Aetna's Medicare Advantage PPO plan is it next year. I believe the merits of the program will reveal itself so, uh, in the coming months. What happens to uh, people that are, that are caught uh, in, in a bind? Coral Health and Aetna reached a deal in the last two weeks to continue treating retirees. But the hearing revealed growing gaps in other areas. We found out that... There's an area in Florida that all of you are very familiar with called the Villages. There's 135,000 people that live there. Many of them are from the state of Illinois, and many of them are teachers, but also state workers. Their doctors don't take Aetna either. Then there's University of Illinois Hospital in Chicago. Aetna is one of the worst partners in our management care portfolio. The reimbursement is amongst the lowest of national players. We reported Monday, roughly 200 transplant patients are poised to lose a go-to center at Barnes. We're committed to providing sort of continuity of care and a smooth transition for those onesie, twosies that may be um, caught in limbo. Meaning at least hundreds, many of whom have not even received Aetna's information packet in the mail, leaving room for a plethora of coverage questions still to come. I just say one other thing, I'm oh, sorry. Um, Barnes is in our network. United Healthcare lost out to Aetna to keep the state's PPO contract by about 15 out of 1,500 points over things like quality of care and customer service. Federal ratings put Aetna Medicare at 3.5 stars and United at four. And that is based on quality of care. Is there any drill down analysis on how this impacts different regions of the state. No, there's not. Transparency and accountability are needed. WCIA did great work in getting the information out, but we should not have to rely on WCIA. By the end of the hearing, CMS and Aetna both made a verbal commitment to working to restore that coverage for where those gaps continue to pop up. In the long term, CMS did clarify when they were pushed that there are no rules or laws that dictate them from adding in additional options, even when they're on this current contract with Aetna. Now, lawmakers like Senators Rose and Representative Marin do plan to propose legislation to require those options in state law come spring session. For now, live in Springfield, Renee Cooper, WCIA3, your local news leader. All right, Renee, thank you.